Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to finger your girl for a screaming, shaking, crying orgasm. And note, this is going to be a part two series on better ways or better technical ways to finger her. But first, give this video a huge thumbs up and share with whosoever you know would benefit from it. I'll be right back as you take up time to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I post any juicy content because this is where I do the juicy, juicy stuff. All right, be right back. <laughs> Okay, I have 14 different techniques to fingering your girl and giving her the most intense orgasms that she's ever had. I will first cover the fingering techniques that focus on her powerhouse, aka clit. And then I would show you how to penetrate and massage her pum pum, aka juicy pot, with your fingers, okay? So keep it glued. But before we dive into it, I just have one piece of advice for you. As you're fingering your girl and you're bringing her to orgasm, you absolutely must seek her feedback. It's very essential. It's the only way to truly know if you're pleasing and satisfying her and not just causing her any discomfort, all right? That's just a key ingredient to being the best she's ever had. And please, before you finger her, men, please, I beg of you to wash your hands thoroughly before you insert them in there, because as a woman, well, as women, we're susceptible to the slightest induction of germs or bacteria. You don't want us going to the hospital treating ourselves after that, you know, experience with you. Now, onto the fingering techniques. The first one is rubbing her powerhouse, aka clit. That's the easiest way to give her an orgasm. Just rubbing her powerhouse period. In fact, most women either need or prefer clitoral stimulation for orgasm to occur. Although over 50% of women have reported that, you know, both clitoral and vaginal stimulation contributed to their usual method of reaching orgasm. But another study has also found that women reported their powerhouse to be more sensitive than their juicy part in terms of having more pleasurable responses. And this is because, you know, women first discovered orgasms through the stimulation of their powerhouse, okay? So the main takeaway from this scientific studies is that while the vaginal stimulation can contribute to orgasm, most women found out that their powerhouse is the most sensitive area and should be caressed and stimulated. It should be robbed and loved if you want to bring her to orgasm easily when fingering her. But nevertheless, it's important to state that some women still struggle to orgasm from clitoral stimulation, and that's normal. Just like it's normal for guys to ejaculate just after a few minutes of sex. All right, premature ejaculation. So even if you don't do anything else, just robbing her powerhouse is enough for most women to climax, provided that you've got her in the mood first by removing her breaks to her sex drive. And her breaks to her stress, um, sex drive could be stress, work, doing so much work at home. And then you also have to ensure that you have actively made her horny by amplifying the accelerators to her sex drive. And accelerators are things that make her so happy and in the mood for you. Otherwise, just go back to those steps before diving into fingering her. I would leave a link up here for you. I think I did something about brakes and accelerators. Now, there are a bunch of different ways to rub her powerhouse. You could rub it up and down, side to side, or any angle that you deem fit. It's that simple. However, there are a few important caveats, making sure that it is very pleasurable for her. You will almost always need some kind of lube. Otherwise, it will feel more painful than pleasurable for most women because of the friction between your finger and her fragile flesh. And of course, lube just lets your finger or your hand move more easily. It's also very important that you're not so rough down there. Don't squeeze or press too hard on her powerhouse. I don't think it's pleasurable for all women, honestly. Of course, there are two options that you could go about here. Number one, the ideal option is to lightly press your finger into a juicy pot first and use her natural lubrication as lube on your fingertip, all right? Now, if you ever feel your finger drying out, then just return back to a juicy pot for a deep 
so that you could use it to slide through her powerhouse. And to be honest, the juicy pot might not really provide enough lubrication for some women. So you just naturally need to use a lube if you're going to do anything about fingering her powerhouse. Now, secondly, the next thing is figuring out what type of rubbing she responds to. Does she respond to direct stimulation of a powerhouse with your finger or indirect, you know, stimulation at the edge of the powerhouse or somewhere in between or by the side of the powerhouse is one side or the corner of a powerhouse more sensitive than the other because for some women one side of their powerhouse is sensitive than the other so you have to figure out does she like intense or light pressure or somewhere in between all right does she like it fast low or medium what type of rubbing does she like or is it a combination of all the pressure you need to ask questions while you go about this because as always the key to truly satisfying any woman is figuring out what she likes what she enjoys not just following instructions um, blindly so make sure to get feedback from her either by listening to her body or talking to her now another method of fingering her is using the long slow stroking method you should try stroking from the bottom of her juicy pot to her powerhouse because that's a great technique to pleasure her all right from the bottom of a juicy pot to the top of her um, powerhouse of course it's also a great way to cover your finger with her natural lubrication because as you move from her juicy pot to her powerhouse your finger will be scooping some of her juice to the powerhouse from this is where the juicy part is this is a powerhouse so you're moving your finger and you're scooping her juice to her powerhouse again you need to try varying techniques changing how much pressure you're using and how fast you're moving your finger up and down side to side also feel free to stroke in the opposite direction from her clit to her vagina and also feel free to compliment her as you please her. Some women feel self-conscious about how they look down there. So the third way for you to finger your woman is a method that I call four fingers of fun. Ooh, that's three. Four fingers of fun. This is for when your partner needs more stimulation to orgasm. Then four fingers of fun should do it really well. So all you would just be doing is rubbing your forefinger over her powerhouse a labia majora and inside her juicy pot in a secular motion. All right, just in a secular motion. And the whole time you're using her natural lubrication on your finger, which will make it much more slippery, wetter and, you know, satisfying for her. And as I keep repeating like a broken record, make sure to try varying techniques to see what works best for her whether it's the amount of pressure you're using to how big your circles are or to how small your circles are you might even figure out that using two or three fingers may feel a lot better for her than using four fingers all right it just depends on the woman that you're with now the fourth way is discovering her u spot i think the u spot should probably because the secret spot because only a few people seem to understand or seem to know about it it's the area just above the urethra and you know to the side of it i'm going to put a, a diagram for you to see all right so just like with robbing you know her powerhouse i would advise that using a lewd finger would be best for doing this then just gently stroke it like a disc jockey would stroke his disc all right send your finger up to her powerhouse as you stroke because this will help to increase the amount of pleasurable stimulation she is receiving now not every woman gets that much pleasure from you stimulation you spot stimulation so if your girl isn't digging it then don't worry about it too much just try using another technique number five the clitoral hood all right men please I need you to know that most women have powerhouses that are so sensitive, so much so that it hurts when touched directly. So if you're with a woman who has a powerhouse that is very sensitive, then no matter how softly you rub it, it will hurt her and you won't pleasure her as much as you think you should. Fortunately, there is a simple so solution to this. You just need to rub her clitoral hood instead. Now the clitoral hood is the small bit of skin covering the clit like your foreskin that covers your joystick okay now if you do it this way um you will find out that her clitoral hood would just act as some sort of a buffer between your finger and 
her juicy um, and her powerhouse and that will provide her with lots of pleasurable stimulation in case you aren't aware just like your joystick you need to know that her powerhouse has the tendency of becoming erect when aroused let's move on to another method of fingering it's something called orgasmic meditation i know it sounds a bit spiritual or something reserved only for you know yoga loving people but that's just a name and it's surprisingly easy to perform and if you do it right you can give your girl a 15 minute orgasm and i'm not kidding 15 minute orgasm and believe me when i say that i am not exaggerating now this is what you need to do your woman needs to lie down on her back with her legs spread open and she just needs to get really relaxed you yourself you need to get into a comfortable position by sitting down with your left leg bent and over her stomach and your right leg under her right leg you then need to start stroking the upper left quadrant of her powerhouse with just one lubricated finger very slowly and lightly this upper left quadrant area is between the dotted lines in this illustration that you would see here all right your touch should be as light as possible now you're going to move your fingers a few millimeters back and forth making sure to apply only the slightest amount of pressure to her powerhouse this kind of stimulation feels almost frustrating and women can't tolerate it for so long because it seems like you're teasing her but some other women will tell you that the longer a man teases them like that, the better the sensation they get. And this is exactly what you're looking for. This is what you're aiming for. Even if your partner doesn't achieve a prolonged orgasm, this is going to be perfect for making her beg for more. So even if your girl is begging you for more pressure or stimulation, try to hold off and not give in to her, thereby making sure to use the very least amount of pressure possible. So it's the slightest pressure that you're going to use. It's a little hard to describe this exact technique with just words, honestly. However, I think that sex is a very personal thing. So bear in mind that there is no correct way to perform orgasmic meditation. If you find out that a particular variation works best, then please stick with that. You could also experiment with lying down beside your partner while you're performing it, or just focus on different areas of a powerhouse. Just be creative. Do whatever works best for both of you, all right? All right then, so I'll be coming back with a part two of this video because if I continue with the remaining methods, this video will be too lengthy, especially for those impatient family members that we have in here. So watch out for part two. Be right back before you know it. Mwah.